Hey viewers, thank you so much for tuning back in. In this video, I will be showing you how to install Mac OS Ventura on A1398, that's the 15 inch MacBook from 2015. Once the installation is done, I will be showing you how to use continuity. That is, you can use your iPhone's camera on this MacBook Pro as a video source. I would firstly like to suggest you to take a backup of all your files. And once you are done, you can continue the process. For this whole process to work, you will be needing Open Core Patcher. You can find the links for that in the description below. My MacBook is currently running macOS Monterey. That's the final supported version. And yeah, that's the process. In the legacy patcher, open core legacy patcher, you need to go to settings. Under settings, you'll be needing to check on the allow native models option. And then click on yes in the prompt. Then click on SMBO settings. Over here, we'll be selecting advanced options. What we'll be needing to do is we'll be spoofing the SMBOs to a model number which is currently being supported by the latest updates. From the drop down, I'll be selecting MacBook Pro 14.3, which is a 2017 15 inch MacBook Pro. The configuration is similar to my MacBook Pro, so that's the reason I'm selecting it. For your case, uh, find a model which is having a similar resolution or something which is currently being supported. Yeah, so this is a 15 inch uh, MacBook Pro and generate a custom serial number. Click on the yes for the prompt for obvious reasons and then click on return to, return to settings and then click on return to main menu and over there you need to tap on build and install open core. Uh, that will prompt you to select the installation disk. Yeah, give access for the open core and select the installation disk. Then select the EFA partition where uh, the open core bootloader will be installed. Type in the password and then click on reboot. When your MacBook is restarting, you need to hold uh, the option key for you to show all the available boot options and then select the open core bootloader which is available. Let me show that quickly. From the boot menu, select the one with the open core logo. Yeah, I'm having a Windows written over there. Select that. And then click on your uh, current Macintosh installation. And wait for the OS to boot. Once the OS is booted, uh, your MacBook will be spoofed to the 2017 version. You can go to the settings and start updating it normally. Now that the MacBook's booted, uh, let's go check for any available updates. Uh, yeah. Go to about and click on software updates and try to refresh. You will be shown with the update for Ventura. Uh, so click on upgrade now and wait for the download to be completed. This will take a while as it is 1.7 GB. Let me fast forward the video and we will be back once the download is done. Once the OS is downloaded, let's continue the process by following the on-screen instructions. Just install the OS. Now that your uh, installation over here is completed, you can click on the restart option. Once you do that, your MacBook will continue the installation process. This will take a while. It took around uh, 30 minutes for me. So I'm fast forwarding the whole process at 80 speed. On your first boot, the graphics will be completely messed up because the drivers need patching. So that will be doing now. Let me quickly log in and show you the process. Extremely sorry that the clarity of the images are very bad because everything is quite small. So yeah, I'm currently running macOS Ventura. You can see it over here. Coming back to the open core patcher, let us open it and then patch the drivers. So once the open core patch is open, you'll be having multiple options. Click on post install root patch. And once you click on that, you will be given an option to install the root patches and it will show all the patches that will be done for your laptop for me it will be patching the graphic card driver and all the required files after the whole patching process is done you will be prompted to reboot and it will also add as a login item allow that and restart your macbook and your setup is complete
Now the OS is updated to Ventura. Let us test one of these features, which is continuity, where you can use your iPhone's camera on your MacBook Pro. So for for the continuity to work, both your iPhone and your MacBook should be running on the same uh, Apple account. Uh, so make sure that you're on the same account on both the devices. For the continuity to work, you should be having an iPhone which is greater than iPhone XR. I am currently using iPhone 13 Pro. You will need to enable continuity under uh, the AirPlay and handoff setting. You can find the setting under the general setting. Yeah, that's the setting. You need to enable continuity camera on the iPhone 13 Pro. Also, make sure your iPhone and your MacBook are on the same Wi-Fi network. And during FaceTime calls, you know to use your iPhone as a camera. The FaceTime app uh, under the video settings, you can click on the iPhone for the camera settings. That is start streaming your iPhone's camera to your FaceTime calls. Yes, yeah, so you can see that the continuity is working fine on your on my A1398 uh, 2015 MacBook Pro. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up and also do consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much, people. This is Wamsi from Tech Fortress. Have a beautiful day.